Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here, and make sure you have your wrist strap on because this is going to be my very first Wii project. That's right, this is my very first uh, Wii Let's Play. I mean, I've done playthroughs of games on the Wii, but this is the first game that's actually a Wii game, so hooray for that. Anyways, the game I'm going to be tackling today is New Super Mario Bros. Wii, perhaps my favorite game that came out of the year 2009. Uh, gonna start a new file as always, and only gonna be one player. I know this game is known for its very fun multiplayer, but there's nothing wrong with a single player playthrough either. Okay, so today is Princess Peach's birthday, a day that will be known in infamy as we try to celebrate the birthday of this evil person. But nope, it looks like Bowser and his cronies are going to capture the princess once again. And then they go flying off, so... Mario, Luigi, Yellow Toad, and Blue Toad are going to rescue her. And for this adventure, we get two new interesting tools. The propeller suit and the penguin suit, as we'll see later in the game. The penguin suit, not so much. The propeller suit, we'll be seeing quite a bit. So yeah, this is going to be a playthrough of New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Uh, I've been looking forward to doing this playthrough for a while. Uh, when I first finished this game for the very first time, I was like, yeah, I'm definitely going to do a Let's Play of this. And ironically, I've actually done another playthrough of this on my Ustream channel, but, um, you know, nothing on my YouTube channel, so I felt like, you know, having a playthrough of that on this channel as well, so... Uh, yeah, let's just get started. With World 1-1. Uh, this is, of course, going to be a 100% Let's Play, so I'm going to, of course, beat the game. I'm going to find all the hidden exits and go through all the levels in the game. Uh, I'm going to collect all the star coins in every level, and I'm also going to spend all of those star coins as well, so... It's pretty much going to be a 100% playthrough in every aspect of the word 100%, I guess you could say. I probably won't spend times like these to get coins and stuff like that, but, you know, if there's, like, a secret room, I might show a few of those off and stuff like that. Um, I don't really know that much about this game. I mean, I've played through it completely twice, but, um, I've played a lot of other Mario games, obviously, a lot more. I think I've had, like, at least a hundred playthroughs of, uh, Super Mario World in my lifetime, so... I obviously know that game a lot better than I know this game, but still, I think I know this game decently well. I wouldn't say it's like, you know, the Mario game I know most, but, you know. Whatever. Okay, so there's a star coin right there. Uh, there are three star coins in every level. Uh, some of them can be very, very annoying to get if you haven't played this game yet. Generally, you'll have to look like underground, in the sky, and sometimes they'll be, like, hidden behind things. So, safe to say, they're very annoying to find. Maybe not all the time, but still, they can be a pain if you're... if you don't know where to look. In fact, I'm actually not moving forward, because I think there might actually be... one over here. Okay, maybe not. I'll go ahead and keep going. If I find the third star point, I'll just go back and find the, the second one. And yeah, they do appear in sequential order, so if, like, uh, if you have the first one and the third icon, you have to kind of go in between them to find the last or the second one that you're missing. Okay. And, of course, if you couldn't tell, I'm using the propeller suit right now. Uh, the propeller suit is pretty much awesome. All you have to do is just, you know, jump and then shake the Wii remote. And you will hover in the air for a short period of time. You'll also fall down slowly, so you can kind of have some control over it as you land. I'm trying not to lose it, though. Oh, wait a minute, I can just go through here. 
Okay, no, I can't. Okay, I have to wait for this rotating wheel to come all the way around again. Come on, come on. So yeah, New Super Mario Bros. Wii. This was definitely probably my favorite game of 2009. I think it is anyways. I don't want to like, you know, say that and then remember a game that I actually liked more. But um, yeah, I actually really, really enjoyed this game. And where the heck is that pipe? This is seriously taking forever to appear. And I really don't want to walk away because it might appear like as soon as I go off screen. Okay, here, let me do this. Okay, um, for some reason this is taking a lot longer than it should be, so, uh, I'm tempted to go away, but I'm tempted to stay here, too. And I'll go back this way. Maybe I just forgot it somewhere else. Okay, no, I'm pretty sure it's over there. Okay, here it is. Okay, that really did take forever. I don't know why that took so long. And you would think you can only get this with a propeller suit, but like uh, most modern Mario games, you can also do wall jumps, too. They're pretty helpful to get stuff. Or if you're, like, about to fall off a ledge, you can sometimes use a wall jump to get back on the platform you're about to fall off. I kind of like how they kind of incorporated, like, the Mario 64 moves into other Mario games. Like, the you know, like the triple jump and the wall kicks and stuff like that. Alright, course clear. That course took a lot longer because we were waiting for that one pipe for like three minutes. I do apologize for the long wait, but there's not that much I could have really done about that. Okay, World 1-2. Um, like most Mario games, the second world is usually an underground world. And, of course, that is going to be the case for this game, too. Although, I guess, technically, it's not the case for, like, Super Mario World, because the second level was just a normal grassland level. And also for Super Mario Bros. 3, too. Okay, so, um... Trying to find things to talk about during this playthrough, because, I mean, you can only say so much about Mario games that you know, have, that I haven't said in other playthroughs, and then other things that other people haven't said already. But still, though, I like this game. Uh, one of the things I, like, really enjoyed about this game was the fact that, um, they did actually incorporate a lot of nostalgic references into this one game. And, uh, I'll definitely show you what I mean as we go through the game, because there's, like, a lot of, like, references to, like, you know, Super Mario World, Super Mario Bros. 3, uh, even some references to, uh, Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. Which, I mean, you think that would be kind of weird, because that game was, like, somewhat different from the other Mario games, and that it was more of a Yoshi game and not really a Mario game, but still, like... It was nice to see some references to that game, too. But that'll become more prominent later on. You probably won't notice those differences right off the bat, anyways. Uh, one of the things is, whenever you get one of the red coins, or the red rings, um, you actually hear the uh, little sound fanfare from the uh, uh, red P-switches from Super Mario World 2. Okay, am I supposed to go up here? I think I am, but I don't know for sure. Oh, wait, okay. This is what I'm supposed to do. Hooray, star coin! Let's move on. And since we actually have all the star coins now, we can actually just, you know, get, go through the level normally. Although, is there... Oh, dang it. Stupid piranha plants. Like right here, the music you can hear playing right now, that's kind of a reference to uh, Super Mario World 2. Kind of what I was talking about earlier. I don't remember if there's a secret exit in this level or not. There usually is, but I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out when we get through the world map. Okay, I don't think there is, because I think the, uh, 
I think the secret exit to get to that cannon is actually either in the castle or this level. It might actually be this level, so... Um, before I actually go here, I guess I should probably go to the mushroom house. Gotta show off all these things. Uh, this is kind of like the game from uh, Super Mario Bros. 3 where you have to match items. And if you get a match, you actually get that item in your uh, backpack and you can use it before you start a level if you don't have a power-up. Unfortunately, we got very unlucky right off the bat, so we're not going to be playing this game at all. Yep, I know, we didn't even get one. That sucks. Okay, yeah, press 1 on the map to access your items. I don't have any items, so that's pointless to me. Okay, let's just go to level 1-3 and see what's going on in here. I believe this is the uh, first level that actually uses uh, another introduced mechanic in this game. Well, not really introduced mechanic, but a nostalgic reference, rather. Gotta kill this hammer bro first, though. Okay, where is he? Where is he? He's gotta be around here somewhere. There he is! It's Yoshi. So yeah, um, in most recent platforming games, they've kind of started bringing Yoshi back. Uh, they did the same thing in uh, Super Mario Galaxy 2. And um, I don't know if I really liked Yoshi in this game. I kind of liked him in Galaxy 2, but not so much in this game. I don't know why, they just didn't really make very good use of him. You can still do the uh, Yoshi suicide jump, though, which is kind of cool. So if there's, like, you know, a jump you can't quite make, you can just leap off a of Yoshi and make it. And you also have the uh, Super Mario World Fruits, too, which I thought was kind of cool. <laughs> I like how you can kind of, you know, swallow the hammers and spin them back. And hooray, we get an Ice Flower. Um, I wouldn't say this is a new item, because you technically get the Ice Flower in uh, Super Mario Galaxy 1. But I think this might be actually the first game where you get the Ice Flower in a 2D perspective. I think, anyways. I could be wrong. I might not be thinking of something. I guess you could count the uh, Ice Melon in uh, Super Mario World 2, but... Eh, not really. Okay, Hidden Pipe with the Star Coin, of course. Usually if you see a very if, if you see a pipe that's kind of cut off from the rest of the pipes, usually that signifies that there is a secret there and you have to kind of look for an indentation in the wall to find it. Like right here, I mean you can see these pipes and how they don't go all the way down. I mean that looks pretty suspicious when you're just walking casually through the level. A lot of the secrets are kind of like that, like right up here as you can see. There's a little platform right here, but why is it here? Well, there's a secret here, that's why. And yeah, that's pretty much how the majority of the secrets in this game are like. You gotta find that little sweet spot in the wall. And there we go, we have all the star coins. Um, now I have to be on the lookout for the secret exit, because I think there is one in this level. I think. I could be wrong, it's been a while since I've played this game. Well, I mean, the whole game, anyways. Technically, I played it, like, back in March. Or not March. What am I talking about? Uh, last time I played it was back in, like... It was either June or July, whenever my last uh, Ustream event was. And because you can't take Yoshi to the next level, you can just jump off of him and get the one-up pretty easily. Okay, so apparently I was wrong about the, uh, secret exit there. Although I don't think I was. And I'll probably go back and, uh, research the level later. Mario, bad news. Okay, we got a letter. I ordered my minions to stuff every annoying toad they catch into a question mark block. Ha, if you want to save them, come alone. You won't get any help from your friends. Okay. I'm worried about them. If you find a toad, carry him to the goal. No! No! He took toad! Okay, I guess I'll very quickly show off this mechanic. I won't be doing this every single time, though, because this can really waste time. 
especially when you're, you know, doing videos. But, um, whenever you go into a space where you f uh, find a toad icon, you can actually find toads somewhere in the level. And if you carry toad all the way to the exit, or the, you know, the part of the level where you leave, uh, you can actually get three one-ups, which is very, or not one-ups, three uh, super mushroom items. And those can be very helpful, especially because, you know, you can actually die pretty easily in this game. And when you die, you become small Mario, and you can use those mushrooms to power up before you enter a level, so... Oh no. No! No! Leave Toad alone! Aw, oh, he turned into small Toad. I'm sorry, buddy. I'll try to be a lot more careful with you from now on. Although I can't use the propeller with a Toad. Which kind of sucks. Come on, grab the propeller, you can... Toad, surely you can use the propeller mushroom. Blue Toad and Yellow Toad can. Whatever. So yeah, don't expect me to do that um, any time else besides this one time in the project. Oh, and you only get a 1-up, never mind. I think sometimes you can get... Uh, I think sometimes you can get three Super Mushrooms, though. I don't know if it's always a 1-up, or if I'm thinking about something else. Oh, but we do get a Mushroom House right here. Might as well pay this a visit and try to actually get an item this time. Since I got so screwed the first time. Okay, power up panels. Okay, we're actually, we actually have a good start now. We don't have a match yet though, which kind of sucks. Okay, we got a Starman, that's something. And we also got a Propeller Mushroom. And a regular Mushroom. But that's it. Didn't get those uh, flowers, unfortunately. It is definitely possible to get all the items, but, you know, it's based on luck, so you're not always going to get them. And as you can see, we have another mushroom house right here, so we'll go ahead and see what's inside this one. I believe the yellow mushroom houses always have the same thing, one Starman item. Which is kind of boring, because the Starman items don't really help you that much. They just give you, like, a, a Starman ability five seconds into the level. The next level, or the level you use it in. But okay, let's go to the first fortress of the game. I believe that Koopaling is uh, Larry Koopa. Larry Koopa's always had kind of a weird order, because... Uh, in Super Mario Bros. 3, he was the first Koopaling you fought. But in uh, Super Mario World, he was the last one you fought. And I never really understood why. I mean, it's like, you know, he's like the weakest Koopaling in one game, and he's the strongest one in the next one, so... Yeah, that was kind of weird, and they kind of made him the weakest Koopaling again in this game. Okay, so here we are in uh, Lemmy's Fortress. I gotta say, I do love the castle music in this game. I don't know why, I've always loved the castle music. Probably because it kind of reminds me of uh, Super Mario World. Which, if I haven't made that clear, that is definitely my most favorite Mario game of all time. I love Super Mario World. Although it's kind of a... kind of a biased... Um, placement because that was literally my very first video game so I mean that that game's always gonna be one of my favorites no matter what but like I don't know like e even besides that fact that's a game I can like never stop playing like I can't go a single year without at least four playthroughs of that game in fact I actually uh, completed a playthrough last night I was getting in the zone for this playthrough Okay, let's keep going.
Okay, I have all the star coins, which is good, but apparently the uh, secret exit isn't here either, so... Let's just fight the boss and move on. Pretty simple boss fight. All you do is avoid the uh, wand shots and then jump over his spinning shell move. And then also watch out whenever he jumps. And yeah, he's a pretty simple boss. And there we go, he's already defeated. However, this was only the fortress. And he's not ready to give up just yet, so he's gonna run off again. And then he's gonna go to his castle, which is located on the other side of the map, so we now have to make our way towards that. So let us continue. After we save, of course. 